Hello and welcome to Long's Toys. I have another Machine Robo Mugenbine review for you. Uh, as promised, here is Junk Stag. Uh, he's kind of a purple and gray. Here's the Mugenroid that you get with him. I really like his head dealing, detailing too. As you can see, well, on this side he's got a J, but then because it's... It looks like a G on this side, but it's because it's, you know, a mirror image. But he's J for Junk Stag. I really like his head sculpting. I love this purple color, especially with the gray. I think it works really well. It's pretty much the same gray color from Iron Beetle, so that they have a kind of a color when you merge them together that is, you know, current throughout. So these are the pieces he comes with. He comes with these two kind of pincher claws for when he's a stag beetle. This flat piece. And he's got this little piece here, which you can see. This is the head for when they merge together. And he's got these two wheel pieces. And he's got this kind of cockpit type section. So, the first, uh, he has two modes, of course. It's kind of a snow plow, or a kind of a plow dump truck, not dump truck, um, dozer kind of mode. And then, of course, the stag beetle. So. I will go ahead and show you the uh, dozer mode first. You're going to start by putting his hands up like this. Then you're going to flip these down. Then you're going to bend them here at the waist. Make like an L. Then you're going to bend it here again. And now actually these back pegs are going to peg into the holes in the feet. So it's a little tight, but you can hear them snap in. So this is what you're left with. So you're going to take this cockpit section, and as you can see it has a perfect square here. That's going to go, well, that's where the head's going to go. These two holes are going to go on these two pegs. I'll show it to you from this way. So you, the head just fits perfectly in that little square like I showed you. And they clip on. Then you take these two wheel sections with the points in the back. And these two holes are going to go on these two pegs right here. Same on the other side. So you can already kind of see the dozer mode in action here. Now this mode, or this piece rather, this can this peg can fold in 90 degrees. You want to make sure it's sticking out because that peg is going to go into this hole here. And that just snaps on top there to make kind of the roof of the little cockpit. Then you take these two pincer sections and right here, they can bend back so that they look like this. And you do the same with the other one. You're going to plug those, this hole, onto the peg here on the arm. Same with the other one. Hole peg. Now this last piece, each has a peg on both sides. And you can see there's a hole here on the inside. So with the gray section facing out, you just put it in there. So there you go. You can see it's kind of a plow slash dozer mode. What's cool with it though is that um, because these pincers move, you can, it's a little bit difficult, but you can angle it. You can raise it up, you can even turn this part, so like if you wanted him to carry something, it almost kind of looks like a pizza delivery or a server is coming to bring you your dinner. Um, or if you don't want to move it there, you can actually, because these are his arms, it's hard to see, but his arms right here you can move and you can raise it up that way. So it's a little hard to do because of all the pieces try to swivel on their own but I think it's a cool little like plow mode uh, like I said I really like this color purple so he just kinda looks like a little evil robot to me I kinda really like it so what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to disassemble him and then I will show you the stag beetle mode so that's up next okay so I've gone ahead and disassembled him back into his components and now I'm gonna show you the stag beetle mode so you're going to take uh, the Mugenroid push the head down, fold the arms up. This is another pretty standard configuration for Mugenroids. I call this like the laying down mode. All you do is fold the arms up. So what you do first is you take 
these two big pieces with the wheels, turn the wheels to the bottom, and then right here and right here, these two holes. Same on the other side. Okay. Next, you're going to take this piece that was the cab, and these two pegs are going to peg in right here in the bottom of the feet. It can be a little tight, but it's not that hard. Then you're going to take this big piece that was the front of the dozer, and now you're going to put the gray side or the silver side underneath. And you want to make sure that the circles are the far back you don't want to put them in the front you want to put them in the back like that and then they're going to peg on right here to the bottom of the feet so that kind of makes the big shell of the beetle then you're going to take this piece that was that top little part of the canopy or the cockpit and you're going to want to flip the head out then you see this peg will actually fold down and this peg will fold down. So I just want to show you that again. This peg folds in and this peg on the back folds in. And then you're going to take this peg and plug that in here on the back of the Mugenroid. So that it's just kind of underneath. Then you're going to take these two pincer parts. They'll connect right there. Snap them together. Now on the Mugenroid's arms, you're going to fold these two pegs forward and then these two holes right there. And then there you go. You got the big stag beetle mode. I love this mode. I just I kind of like stag beetles. I love the purple. Um, the cool thing is too because there's articulation here so you can open and close the pincers, which I really like. Yeah, you kind of see the head a little bit of the Mugenroid, but it's not that big a deal. I just think it's a really cool beetle mode. Give you a little bit of a 360. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to disassemble him, and I'm going to bring in Iron Beetle and show you how the two merge together. All right, so real quick, I just kind of wanted to show you the two beetle modes together because I really like them. So I just kind of wanted to put them side by side. Got the stag beetle, and I think this is a rhino beetle, but again, I'm not 100% sure. So if you know, put it in the comments. I'd like to know. So here we go. Just the two beetles next to each other. Okay, so now we have the two completely disassembled and ready to merge. What you're going to do is take both of them, fold the head down, fold the arms in, and then you're going to take these bottom pegs and angle them down. And you're going to do the exact same thing with junk stag. Both of them start in the same configuration. Now you have this piece from junk stag that had the head on it. So you'll fold this peg down so that you have the peg on both sides sticking out and then you turn the head in the middle. Now each of these has a peg on the back so you're going to play, peg that in there Peg him in the back, and there you go. Now you kind of have the middle part of the, the bulk of the middle of the robot. So put him there. You're going to take this part from Junk Stag, that's kind of the canopy. Take the canopy from Iron Beetle, fold that in, and then that's going to peg in these two holes, these two pegs. Then you're going to take these two, these two pegs. and that kind of makes his chest plate. Next you're going to take these two pieces from Junk Stag and they kind of make the feet. Now both of these have a peg on the back that you can fold out. So you fold out the peg. You take these two thrusters from Iron Beetle and you're going to peg them I th actually I think I have it upside down. I think you peg them in like this because that's going to give it heels. Now you want to do it so that the wheels are on the outside and also this silver part is on the outside. So you're going to do that again with this. 
then you're going to come to here and each one of these has two pegs on the bottom so you're going to take the first peg and put it in here and the second peg is going to go in here so you snap that on and snap that on and then you're going to do the same sorry it's getting a little bit hard to hold but you're going to do the same with the other side Okay, so now he's got feet. I'm going to move the camera up a little bit. Uh, his head's got good. So there you go. Now he's got feet and heels. Now these two big pieces that were from Iron Beetle are going to be the shoulders. So you're going to rotate them around until they're both like this. You're going to take these two pieces from Iron Beetle and angle them straight then you're going to put them back together these two holes are going to peg into these two pegs and then you're going to take these two pegs peg them into here and that makes his first arm you can do the same with the stag pieces. Plug them into there. And that's going to make his other arm. Now the nice thing is, because of those ratchets that I showed you earlier, you can move these arms. These arms have posability. Not a lot, but it's a nice touch. So now he's got these two beetle head arms. He's got pincers over here. This last piece goes on the back right here and here here and here and there you go that is the robot that stag junk stag and iron beetle merge to become i like it a lot i think the orange and the purple look really cool together um, it has the common gray throughout which i think is really nice i really like that these arms have posability i think that's a nice touch Plus, it just kind of feels like a nice coherent robot. It doesn't feel like a lot of stuff just kind of cobbled together. Like, I like this back plate. I think the arms and the legs work really well. It feels really solid. Like, it's while you're putting it together, it's a little bit of a mess. But once you have everything snapped in together, it feels pretty solid. And I think it's a really good-looking robot. Oop, move this up a little bit. So there you go. I think this robot has a name, but I really can't remember it off the top of my head. Like a Sector Combination, or Mugen Sector maybe? Mugen Sector? That sounds right. Um, not 100%, but I think it's a really great robot. I think Iron Beetle and Junk Stag are great Mugen Binds on their own. Together, they're awesome, so if you have a chance to get both of them, I definitely recommend it. Um, tell me what you think in the comments, and again, if you have any other Mugenbine requests, go ahead and leave them in the comments. I'll see if I have them, and I'll be happy to review them if I do. So, please like, comment, and subscribe, and I hope you enjoyed this uh, Mugenbine review of Junk Stag, and also the combination with Iron Beetle. Thanks for watching.